Back to Vegas now with the very first women's fight of the night here in the World Combat League. From the Denver Destroyers, Angela the Bomb Hayes. This karate and kickboxing champion brings dedication and hard work to the ring with her. The goal is to inflict a lot of pain. She'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marilee Martin from the Dallas Dragons. Martin has studied martial arts for over 20 years, and becoming a mother four years ago has only made her more ferocious. I'm very strong, I'm very powerful, I'm unpredictable. Hayes versus Martin right now. This is where the Dallas Dragons fighting in blue tonight need to make up some ground, and that's Marilee Martin opening up early on Angela the Bomb Hayes. Hayes returning fire, though. Uh, Hayes is all over Lily Martin. Interesting, Angela Hayes, of course, with a record of 28-3-0 against Martin with 2-0. So big difference in experience here. Good sidekick by Angela Hayes. That's what that experience does for you. You know what to throw when. And Marilee Martin goes by Lily. She's just absorbing those sidekicks to the midsection. I think you're right, Mike. The big thing with experience usually is timing and when to throw a shot, when to step back and be a little more defensive and pick your shots and make every one of them count rather than just throwing leather. And I think that's what we're seeing uh, Lily at the moment you know, do. She's kind of throwing, but she's not really choosing a target. Both these fighters close, closely matched in, in weight. Hayes half a pound heavier than Martin. Trading heavy punches, and for Dallas, they sorely could use a knockout because 15 points would put them right back in the game. Denver leading now, 57-35. Denver go. fighting in red, Dallas in blue. Nice left kick, a round kick then to the head from Denver. Angela Hayes, she just knows where to be. She's putting the sidekicks in at the right time. She needs to follow up with her hands, though. She's relying way too much on that oh, lead leg. Yeah, I think, uh, again, Martin looking very fatigued at the moment. Again, the body gets flooded with lactic acid. Your brain says, I want to go, and your body says, I can't. And that's what the stamina is all about in this sort of match. Lily Martin, 36 years old. Angela Hayes, 31. Both fighters in good condition, but Martin has got to make up a lot of ground. She's got to keep going forward. She can't get boxed in like Hayes is doing to her right now. Both, both feeling the pressure now. Oh, there was a nice jumping shot. That's almost, like, again, like a point-fighting technique then from Denver. Angela Hayes, she's trained in continuous point-fighting and kickboxing. And again, with 28-3-0, that's a lot of experience to bring into the ring against Martin. Once again, when you see the fighters hit back off like that, you know it's about fatigue. It's like, how long can I go? How long can I last? Best punch of the fight. Oh, and again, Martin with two big right hands. And you got to imagine the coach for the Dallas Dragons is yelling for the KO punch. And, you know, is, is Lily Martin kind of kind of ebbing and flowing here, trying to reserve a little energy and maybe catch Angela Hayes by surprise? And she's doing well. I mean, when, she's, when she strikes, she's doing well. And she's hitting right on the mark there. She's putting a lot of pressure on Hayes. I don't think she's up to the knockout punch, though. Uh, Doug and Richard, I see... Uh, you, you take a look at Martin. She punches and she backs off. Hayes is the one that's still going forward. Don't think the punches are hurting her. She's in command of this match. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, you notice the hands drop once the fatigue sets in. This is very dangerous for either fighter, especially when you're always attacking. Did Lily Martin keep Dallas in the game? Okay, this is the big right hand from Lily Martin. You see Hayes just takes it, just waits. Now she backed up, so she caught that punch at the end of the extension. No real damage done to Hayes, although it looked good in the ring. And here's a different angle at the same look, but I don't think it hurt Hayes, Richard. No, it wasn't a lot. I mean, uh, she rode that punch a little bit, so it didn't cut the full force of the punch, but it was a good shot. It was well placed. Very close fight, Mike, for Angela Hayes and Marilee Martin. We await the score. Destroyers hoping Hayes had enough, and she does. 14 to 12 over Marilee Martin. So the team score now for the Denver Destroyers. They're hanging on to that lead, 71-47. One more fight in the first half. World Combat League welcomes you back to Vegas, and a very slim lead, as you see, for the Denver Destroyers. Two matches to go, and the women are now in the combat zone. Only two matches to go, and the Dallas Dragons have now, miraculously, some would say, have pulled to within 10 points. Dallas fighting in the blue. Denver Destroyers in the red. That's Angela Hayes taking on Lily Martin. 
Well, in two matches, in two knockouts, the Dallas Dragons have picked up 30 points. Let's see if Lily Martin can keep that string going. Hayes fighting very strong, very strong hand combinations there, getting into uh, Martin. Let's see if Hayes can keep it up again. It gets down to condition how much he's rejuvenated during that intermission. I'll tell you who is fired up is Lily Martin. After those two knockouts by her teammates, she's anxious to show what she can do now. And of course, on the reverse, Angela Hayes doesn't lose for her team the advantage that Denver had built up with some really nice wins in the first half. The problem here for Lily Martin, she looks smaller than Hayes, but she's really not. She's only a half a pound lighter. But Hayes is so much more experienced than Martin. And when, when you're tired, when it's the second half match, you just don't quite have the, the gas you had in the first half. That's when that experience really comes in. And Absolutely. 25-3-0 wins for Hayes against 2-0 for Martin. It's a big deal of difference in experience. And like you said, you're just used to taking that impact, you're used to being in the arena under the pressure, and it can make a huge difference in the outcome. Well, this is kind of the same M.O. as the first fight in that they came out blazing for about the first minute, then the arms get heavy and the legs get heavy. And... Absolutely. The hands start to drop. As I said, lactic acid floods the system. Your brain says, keep the hands up, but your body says, well, it's easy to just drop them. And here's where Hayes, her experience comes in. She just knows better how to fight tired than Martin does. Right. At this point, though, you know, for the Dallas Dragons, they, they don't need the knockout. What they need is for Lily to stay in the fight. They're only 10 points behind now and one match to go. Absolutely, and Lily's doing it. Martin's doing a very good job staying in there. She's on the attack. She's moving forward. Would you, would you agree with 15 points for a KO? Lily Martin just needs to stay out of the KO range of, of Hayes. Absolutely, and I think that's what's going to happen. She just needs to not lose this match. Exactly. She needs to keep it as close as it is. She she cannot knock out Hayes. I will make that statement. She can't do it, but she can win on points or she could keep it close. Hayes starting to keep her hands very low there. You notice Martin scoring a lot oh. to the head there with those punches. You never know. That's a big right for Lily Martin. Very nice right hand from Lily Martin. She's, she's on the offensive. She's giving it everything she's got, which is what this is all about. Well, Martin's doing very good account of herself. She may make a big liar out of me. Yeah. Out. I don't know. <laughs> but for the moment, she's hanging in there with somebody that looks like she's had twice as much experience as she's had. Hayes, see, Hayes got caught again then from Martin. Hayes has got to keep her hands up. It's very dangerous. Anybody will go down if they get tapped on the right spot right on the chin, along the jawline. We're talking about how tired they are, but both of these fighters are showing great stamina. This is, this is the most draining type of fighting that you can do. Of any of the disciplines, they're both hanging in there. Great spirit. Great spirit from both fighters. Smiles from both fighters. Good fight. Lily Martin hangs in there. That is the best news for Coach Guy Metzger for the Dallas Dragons. Angela from the Denver Destroyer for Red. Sarah Lee Morton for the Dallas Dragons in blue. Let us hear one more time. She did what she had to do. She just kept the, kept the fight close. That was her best combination of the fight with those two right hands. Her team should be proud of her, Richard. Absolutely. Fantastic hit. Fantastic hit from both athletes. These are both warriors in there. The way she took that roundhouse kick just then and, and just shook it off. It's the team spirit. Boy, each team desperately needs a win at this point. Angela Hayes, Marilyn Martin, great fight, very close. And it is Martin with the win by only one point, 14-13. Closing the team score gap now, it's only nine points. Dragons a deficit to the Destroyers with one match to go.